Hey guys, welcome back. So today for Chit Chatter Day, I thought I would do a liquid lipstick lowdown. I didn't realize how many liquid lipsticks I had accumulated, and they're, they've been the thing, they're kind of the thing. Like you can't ever see a makeup artist's photo, or someone who does is big on Instagram. You can't ever see a picture of them without it being some sort of matte lipstick. And you know, I actually, okay, so let me get to the point, Chelsea. <laughs> I like a long wearing lipstick for the reason that I don't like to have to touch up. I love to be able to go out to eat and not have to worry that, you know, all of my lipstick is gone and all I have is some weird funky liner going on. Um, so I love liquid lipsticks for the longevity factor. I don't, however, always love what they do to your lips, how they can be very drying, uncomfortable, they can be crusty, they can be a little bit high maintenance. And so I thought. I would dive into my collection, go through all the different brands and formulations that I have, give you my thoughts and opinions on them, and I'm kind of coming from the standpoint of they're not my favorite type of lipstick. I love lipstick. I have a lot of lipstick. In fact, if you want to know how much lipstick I have, my makeup collection video just went up this week, and so I will have that link below. Check it out, and you can see all the different types of lipstick that I have. I love it. So I thought I would just give you my opinion, my thoughts, the little lowdown on liquid lipstick today. And I hope this is helpful for those of you. If you're just stumbling upon my channel, welcome. I hope you subscribe. I just kind of want to give you my thoughts and opinions on what I think is worth it and what may be something you should probably just skip. So first and foremost, if you're going to wear liquid lipstick, you need to exfoliate your lips. Um, I like to use the Mint Juleps um, by Lush. I have a backup of this one. This one is almost gone. It's great just to exfoliate your lips anyways, probably maybe weekly or maybe more often depending on um, what types of lipsticks you wear and how dry it is where you live. If it's really cold and wintry or if it's, you know what I mean? So this is just kind of one of those must have, must do types of things if you're going to wear lip liquid lipstick comfortably and have it look flawless and not chunky and gross trust me i've put on a liquid lipstick with not so soft lips and it just it doesn't look good um and then of course you're going to want to put on a moisturizer uh like a chapstick of some sort um i put lip um chapstick on every night before bed so while i'm sleeping my lips are at least being hydrated so that's the first thing i want to say about liquid lipstick um all right so let's just kind of delve into this and start grabbing let's start off with what i'm wearing actually um, this was recently gifted to me, and I gotta tell you, this color, and this formulation is truly amazing. It doesn't feel, it's a little tacky. I just reapplied. So I put this on, filmed a er, video earlier, and then I ate a snack, had a cup of coffee, and it stayed on, but I just reapplied just because for the sake of the video, I wanted my lipstick to be on point and not kind of wonky or whatever. It, well, unlike my hair. <laughs> Um, so anyways, this is the Chanel, um, long wear lipstick, I think it's called, in the shade Tender Beige. This color is everything. So, the deal with this is that it definitely, I guess I can zoom in a little bit here, definitely dries, I'm looking at my monitor if you're wondering, matte, okay? This particular one is a little tacky. It wasn't tacky on the first application, but when I reapplied it was a little bit, it's a little bit tacky. But that's fine. Here's the deal. When this gets uncomfortable, the other side is a gloss. So I would say you go to work 8, 8 o'clock in the morning, you wear this all the way till lunch, you eat lunch, maybe you don't want to have a matte lip the rest of the day, but your color is still there, throw the gloss over it. And it's just a clear gloss and it looks like this. And it's like a little brush tip applicator. This color is beautiful. I love this color. I think this is a very wearable color for any shade. Like, any shade of skin that you have, I think, I don't, any undertone that you have, I think this would be a very complimentary color. It's just very similar to my all-time favorite nude, which is Nars's Barbara. Um, so I love this. So, the Chanel Longwear Lips, Lip, Lippy Things, Lip, whatever they're called, Longwear Lip Creams, whatever, um, have my stamp of approval. They're very comfortable, they're luxurious, they're beautiful, they make a great little gift. So... Thank you to Jody for purchasing this and sending it to me and thinking of me. It's truly, you did good, girl. This is this is great. Um, something else that's a similar concept, but um, how do I describe this? Basically, this is a Makeup Forever Aqua Rouge. 
I bought this for the color. The color is phenomenal. This is number 14. Looks like this. It's kind of like a rosy, a rosy mauve. I feel like when you put on your lips, it dries a little bit darker. And then, so this is different. This is not a gloss that's going to make things shiny and hydrated like the Chanel. You have to put this on. So I applied this when I first got it and just did the liquid lipstick version. It, just this side, okay? So that's what the applicator looks like. If you don't put this on, you will put your lips together and you will barely be able to get them apart. <laughs> so this is what seals the deal with this long wear lipstick. This is supposed to be waterproof. I haven't tested it. I don't swim, I sink, or I float on a floaty with a cocktail. So I haven't tested it like literally swimming. Um, but I know that their makeup forever waterproof line is pretty bulletproof in other things that I've tried, like their lip liners. So this is drying. Um, but it stays on and the color is gorgeous. So, I don't know. See, that's the trade-off. Like, here, here's what you're going to buy it for the color. But here's my other philosophy. If I don't like the dryness of it or it dries too matte and it's uncomfortable, I just put a gloss over it. Even if it's just a clear gloss, even if it's just a tiny little bit of lip balm, just put a little bit of something on there to help your lips feel a little bit more hydrated if you want that matte look. Um... If you want a long wearing liquid lipstick, there are a few things you're going to encounter as far as dryness, but there are some better formulas than others. This particular color is worth it to me because number 14 by Makeup Forever is just a beautiful, beautiful shade. All right, so let's talk a little bit about um, some of my favorite liquid lipstick formulations. So let's go, I don't have them necessarily in order, but the ones I would recommend that are comfortable. The first is the Jeffree Star. So, before we get into, uh, there's a hair on my eyelash. Uh, by the way, these are new eyelashes. They're House of Lashes Pixie. Aren't they gorgeous? Oh, I love them. Um, okay, so I digress. Uh, always, always. It's Chit Chatter Day. I'm all over the place, usually. Um, so the scent on these is weird. They don't smell like any of my other formulations here. How do I describe? It reminds me when I first opened this up, the first thought that came to mind was something at a dentist office. It's like minty, but fruity at the same time. Not like gum. Not like minty, fruity, like gum. Like minty, fruity, like something you shouldn't be eating, but you are. I don't know. It's weird. Don't love that. The packaging is cute. Um, this is the color Unicorn Blood, which on me doesn't pull the same color as it does on the Beautylish website. Like you can see the lip swatches or even, it, I don't know, it pulls a little bit more... <sighs> More rusty than red on me. Um, and then the wand applicator on this is cool. Because you can see, get my face out of the way there, it has like a little pool. So when you pull it out, that liquid lipstick that's just chilling in there, that's more than enough for your lips. More than enough. So it just kind of sits in there, which is neat. Um, very light weight not a heavy thick formulation which i think is key um very lightweight glides on opaque in one stroke this formulation when i first put put it on really blew me away um i think it's lovely if you can get past the smell it doesn't last it doesn't linger it's just a little di it's different okay i, I don't want to make it like this big deal like it just smells god awful it's not like that it's just different um the packaging is super cute and his line has some really interesting shades. Shades I personally would never put on my lips, um, but if you're looking for a mint green or a purple or blue or black or white or something like that, he has the shades. He also has this shade, which I think is beautiful. It is a beautiful red shade. I almost wore it today, but I really didn't want to feel too Christmassy with my green dress and my red lips, <laughs> but I did almost wear it. This is Red Rum. Um, just a gorgeous, classic red shade. I'm going to swatch these for you, actually. That's what I should have done in the beginning. But I was afraid I would have swatches for days, which and we're having company tonight. So let me just swatch them for you, because I know I'm going to get comments below. Why didn't you swatch them? I will do it. I will just show my company my hand swatched. They're going to be like, what is all over your hand? Liquid lipstick. <laughs> if you don't have any long wearing lipstick, this is, this is what you should. I'm going to swatch the other two here, two next to it so that you can we'll just do comparisons here 
yeah that makeup forever one definitely comes out darker than it looks in this tube and then I'll do the Chanel well I don't really need to do the Chanel because I'm wearing it so here's the makeup forever number 14 these are not dry of course um, that's unicorn blood and that's red rum this is a cool toned red or blue based red which will make your teeth look super white so those are the three so far now I want to make sure not to wipe this on my beautiful dress um, okay next let's talk about the dose of colors liquid lipsticks I have three shades from them um, the first shade I had purchased a while ago was dose of colors bury me and I remember at the time everyone was wearing this color on their lips I need to sit up here um, I want to make sure I'm like in the center here. Everyone was wearing this color on their lips and it looks so gorgeous. But it doesn't pull on me the same as in all the photos once again. I think it's just my naturally red pigmented lips that is kind of tweaking the color a little bit. So now I have to like figure out, okay, well, if the red in my lips is putting off the color. So maybe do I need to go less purple and I need to go less purple. Basically, um, this first color is called Bury Me. The packaging is very similar to Jeffree Star on this. Um, it also has that uh, little divot in the wand so the product just kind of chills in there. These are less liquidy. The Jeffree Star is much more liquidy. These are a little more moussey, kind of whipped almost. Um, these are comfortable on the lips. The formula, because of the whipped, um, I don't know. I have a little bit of trouble with this shade. This is Bury Me. Um, I think it's the whip texture. It kind of like balls up, crusts off easier, because it's. I think I think it has to do with the whipped texture for me. But I still like the colors. Um, so this is Kiss of Fire. I just bought this one. I bought this thinking spring, summer, beautiful red shade. Oh, I already wore. I wore this to church, and I was. I kept turning to my husband. I was like, Do you like my lip color? He's like, Yeah, it's fine. I'm like, No do you like this because I feel so pretty in this lip color he's like yeah it's great whatever <laughs> you know what I mean like it's just another you wear red lipstick all the time and the last color I have is truffle this color is everything now I don't have any issues with these two maybe this one is this is an older one I've had this for a while so I'm wondering if as it sits it gets kind of funky but I didn't have any issues with any balling up these lasted really nicely on the lips um I went out for lunch ate lunch Chinese PF Chang's and it had disappeared a little bit but it wasn't terrible and I did reapply and it it didn't ball up or get funky like you were able to layer it so let me swatch truffle I would highly recommend truffle truffle is gorgeous gorgeous nude um, comfortable on the lips now I think I think maybe the once this is sat around or maybe they reformulated it but just at the swatch bury me is much more moosier these were more liquidy so i don't know if they redid them or what but that's kiss of fire and that is truffle so bury me i had issues with maybe it's that shade maybe it's because it's old i don't know but these two new ones they're great they're great um okay i love the packaging of the kat von d's i think it's so pretty so artsy these two colors were released um last summer and when i saw they were going to come out i wanted to get them because they're just those rosy shades i love to wear and i have forgot about it and i had purchased them i think this past winter i have lovesick and mother now i do find these to be quite drying um so I tend to put a little bit of gloss with these because I don't like to feel like my lips are going to fall off of my body. Um, so here's what the wand looks like. They're just the typical doe foot applicator. It is a little bit longer of a wand, which is kind of fun. I mean, I don't know. I feel a little bit out, more out of control because it's longer. Um, but this is the shade Lovesick. Now this texture is very lightweight. Uh, the formula is very lightweight. So they last nicely in the lips. Um, I just find them to really dry matte, um, very matte to the point where I like to wear them with a gloss, just my personal preference. And then I'll swatch mother next to it. 
I like to mix these two colors. I'll put Mother on everywhere, and then I'll put a little bit of Love Stick in the center just to kind of ombre it, or I'll just put the darker one on and then lighten it up completely with Love Stick because they're very interchangeable shades. So that's Love Stick and that's Mother. I love both of them. Um, so there you go. You can kind of see her the different uh, shades here, but uh, these dry very matte, um, but I do think that they last very nicely on the lips, so just a little bit uh, less comfortable than say the Jeffree Star ones are. So far, the, my most favorite formula that I've tried thus far is the Stila ones. I don't know why I waited so long to buy these. <laughs> I love these shades. Um, so I recently talked about these in my February favorites. I think even like a weekly loves. Like I've been wearing these a ton. These are the Stila uh, Stay All Day Liquid Lipsticks in the shade Bocce and Patina. The packaging is gorgeous too. Um, let me show you the wand on this one. This one is Patina. This wand is different. It's more of like a flatter wand. I don't know just different ones I like for different reasons I, my time just turned um, so if I disappear I'll come back my timer only lets me record for so long here okay my camera shut off I have no idea what I was talking about uh, basically the smell in these it's like a very faint vanilla smell I don't find it to be perfumey that is the patina right there I guess I can go closer for you guys that's the patina right here um, I love these I find these to be just lightweight enough they don't dry to the point where they're so matte that they're like clinging on for dear life, like you can't move your lips, they're so dry they hurt kind of thing. It's just a comfortable matte. Um, I love the colors. I love the colors that Stila has actually. Um, and then this is Bocce. Like I said, I like to pair this. I like to wear it on its own. It pulls a bit gray on me. Um, so I like to pair it with the Patina or maybe with a liner that's a little bit more pink just because it can pull a little bit gray on me. So that is the Bocci, B-A-C-I. I love them. The other two colors I have, I actually haven't worn yet. They came in that Christmas set. My friend kept the little Bocci and she doesn't wear these shades so she gave me these two but the colors look beautiful. So I will swatch them for you. Um, they're from the permanent line. This is Rico. I believe you can get permanent. It actually looks, look at this, brand new. Haven't even opened it, Chelsea. Oh my gosh, I can't even get it open. I got lotion on my hands. There we go. <laughs> it's brand spanking new. Ooh, this is pretty. Let me swatch this one. Oh, that is gorgeous. Very vampy, burgundy wine shade. And then Beso. Ugh, stunning red shade. Swatch that for you. Ooh. It's just a hint brighter than uh, Red Rum by Jeffree Star. So there is, what did I say, Rico and Beso. Gorgeous colors, gorgeous. Um, let me sit up again. Oh, I knew that was gonna happen. Bracelets into the pool of lipsticks here and now I got streakage. Goodness gracious, my company's gonna be like, what is wrong with her? Um, Okay, so I love those. Now, let's move into these. The Color Pops. All right, very matte, all right? Keep in mind they're only $6. The formula for the price point, great. Just great. The shade selection in the Color Pops liquid lipsticks are why I bought them. Because I feel they have some really unique, pretty shades. They also have some colors that are very close dupes to some of the Anastasia liquid lipsticks and some of Jeffree Star's liquid lipsticks. I think for the price, it's great. Not my favorite formula, but I can deal. I can really deal because I love the colors. I don't find that they last as long as some of these other ones I have shown you, but keep in mind, you're only paying $6 versus, what, $24? Um, Jeffree Stars, I think, this is Dose of Colors. These are around 18, 20, you know what I mean? So keep that in mind. Um, I think if you have a daughter who's looking for a long wear lipstick, um, you know, and she wants something that's close to her lip color, um, ColourPop is a great place because it's inexpensive. If she loses it, no big deal. Whoops. 
oops, sorry. Um, and they have some very wearable colors. And they have some funky colors too, like colors I wouldn't wear. But I mean, if you're looking for a Halloween costume color or you just love to rock the, the blues and the greens and, you know, all those different shades, go for it. Um, so some of my favorite liquid lipstick colors are actually made by ColourPop. My all-time favorite color that I actually need to find this. I need to find this in an actual lipstick shade because... ColourPop Bumble was made for Chelsea Gary. Like, seriously. It is my color to a T. Um, let me just swatch it here for you. Now, the wand on these is kind of actually similar to the Kat Von D wand, where it's just a regular doe foot applicator here. The formula on these is a little thicker when you're applying them. They do dry pretty quickly. So you can't really mess around. I wouldn't recommend like going all like this. No, I would work in sections, a small bit at a time. You cannot layer these without them getting a little bit crusty and, and cakey and stuff. So you kind of have to get it in one shot. Um, but once again, it's inexpensive. So that's kind of the trade-off. Um, here is Bumble. The color is perfection. You just kind of like, as with anything else, some things you just have to figure out how to make it work for you. Um, you know, some people are amazing at applying liquid lipstick in 2.2 seconds. Me, not so much. Um, this color is called Trap. This is a very unique shade. It's like gray. <laughs> it looks pretty layered or with the right lip liner. Um, I'm going to swatch all these here for you. And then I have Meaty. I think I just, I swear I had six of these. Do I only have four? I swear I had six, but maybe I only ordered four. I bought these when they first came out last summer. And then the last color is Tool. I swear I had more. I don't know. Things grow legs around here and disappear, that's for sure. This color is stunning. So I really think that ColourPop nailed it with the shades, which is why I, I adore them. So we have Bumble. Let me make sure I get this right. Then we have Trap which is that second one down. Then we have Midi, which is very, very nude. Kind of like Anastasia Beverly Hills Pure Hollywood, but I think a little better. And then the last one is Tool. So those four shades right here are ColourPop. I love that I can zoom in on my new camera, but I gotta get my big old head out of the way, but I just wanna make sure you can see. There we go. So, not my favorite formula, but the colors are great. All right. These. These were the first liquid lipsticks that I remember people raving about, talking about. I watched several videos, including Jaclyn Hill's awesome video, how she swatched them all. I just can't get it together with these, the Anastasia Beverly Hills ones. I find these to be the most drying, like the most uncomfortable. But I like the colors that I have, so I deal. You know what I mean? I put a gloss on, I put a little balm on. I just really prep my lips for these because I struggle with these. These give me that white thing in the center. Um, I don't know why, they just do. But the three colors that I have here are good shades. <laughs> I guess, uh, I just, I don't know. I hate how much they cost and, and you spend so much money on them and you don't like them, you know what I mean? I just, I just make it work. So the first one we have here is Vamp which is really pretty in the fall. It's a great, um, let me show you the, the wand here. It's kind of like the Dose or the Jeffree Star where it has a little dip in it. I do like the wand. I love how it really just glides on and hugs your lips. Um, but it's just, you know, the formula. They're not very liquidy. They're kind of like a mixture of liquid meets mousse. And then I have Trust Issues which this girl I follow on Instagram wears this a lot in a lot of her photos, and I bought it because of that. It looks better on her than me, but, you know, you see people wearing something, you're like, oh, I hope it looks as good as, as it does on her, as it does on me. This color is a beautiful red. This is Sarah Fine. Okay, so we have Vamp, Trust Issues, and Sarah Fine. Beautiful colors. I just can't get with the formula, but I make it work because, like I said, the colors are great. It does last, but it does give me that, that white line thing, which I don't love. 
I don't know. That's the other thing. I like to wear colors in a liquid lipstick that are in that mauve nudie category because if you go really dark, then it just looks weird to me because you see that line in your teeth and your gums and it just, I don't know. All right. The last couple things I have to share with you. Okay, I really don't like this. This is the Tarte Tartiest Lip Paint. This doesn't stay on at all. Not at all. It's a moussey formula. This is the color Namaste. The color is stunning. I mean, I was shocked how quickly this wore off on me. And I wasn't like doing crazy things with it either. So the wand is really different. It's kind of bent. Okay, that just reminded me of naughty things. But it's kind of bent and the... I don't know. This is a little sample that came in a kit. But they have some pretty colors. I just can't get with the formula. It's very moussey, whippy like. It just doesn't stay on at all at all like even swatching it it's kind of patchy here it's just not something that works for me and that's it right there the color is stunning isn't it i just can't it's just not that great um but another thing that's kind of along the lines of like a moussey texture um a longer wearing not super long wearing but a similar idea as the tarte one kind of is the laura mercier uh paint wash liquid lip color this is not going to dry out your lips. This is almost like, the ones I still want to try are the Jouer Lip Creams. And those just came out. I still want to try those. I don't have any of them. There's like six colors I have my eyes on. Um, but I have a feeling this is kind of like that. It's a completely flat wand. It's liquid, but mousse kind of. It's liquid, but not too moussey. It's a really nice lightweight formula. This color is called Petal Pink. I love this color. It's a pretty, very pretty pinky nude shade. Oh, Chelsea, I keep dropping this. Um, I find this to last nicely. It's not drying. If you want a long lasting thing that's not drying, try these. I just have the one because I loved this color the most, but it's, it's unique. It's different. It doesn't dry like a lot of these are drying down super matte, some more moussey than others, but there's the petal pink. And then in the long wear lip category, there are the liquid lipsticks that dry matte. You gotta work with them quickly, all of the things I just talked about. Then there are these, which I own several of and have my huge stamp of approval. The Too Faced Melted lip Liquid Lipsticks. These are amazing. The color selection in these is gorgeous. I love all these colors. They have way more colors. They have some funky colors. They have dark colors. I think they have they have the melted chocolate ones. They have the metallics. Um, they have a new, don't they have some new one of these coming out or something I saw somewhere? All I know is I love these. So if all of the ones I previously mentioned are like, you've tried them, you hate them, try these because these are not like the others, but they are. They're long wearing. They're not drying. They don't dry completely matte. They're just fabulous. One I wear, the, the one I wear the most is Melted Ruby. Um, a lot of times you'll see me in a red lipstick. This is what I'm wearing. Um, I love these. So where am I going to swatch these is my next question. Let me just, I can't use my left hand because I'm, I'm not very coordinated. I'm going to not wipe those off because they make a mess. I guess I'll just, what I'll do is I'll take my bracelets off here or at least push them down. And I'm going to swatch them so you can see for the colors. I love these. I think these are great. So let me start with Melted Ruby. The applicator on these um, looks like this. It's a squeeze tube. You squeeze it up. The product comes out. I didn't touch on a lot of the smells, but none of them are like standout smells to me except for the Jeffree Star, quite frankly. So these smell fine. Nothing funky, nothing weird. Um, oh, I love this color. Melted Ruby. I think these are great. If I didn't say that a hundred times... I'll say it 101. Melted Fig is very different, but fun. I like to wear this when I'm wearing like a navy smoky eye or a navy top because the colors in this really complement navy for some reason. So there's Melted Ruby, Melted Fig. This one I don't love. This is my least favorite of the bunch just because on me it's a little, it's not the right color nude for me, but it is a good nude shade. And this one's called Melted Nude, obviously. It's just a little bit more 
brown once it hits my lips. It dries a little too... Well, I mean, I can wear it. It looks fine. It's just not like this. Why do I suddenly look red? Like, the coloring goes off all of a sudden on this, and I don't know how to make it better. <sighs> Ooh. Okay, moving on. Melted Berry is a great berry shade. It's not too purple, so if you're looking for a berry that doesn't have too much purple undertones in it, this is a good one. Oh, it's a beautiful one. That's Melted Berry. It's like a true berry shade, you know? Um, then we have Melted Peony, which is a great um, pink shade. It's a little brighter. It's like a... It's like straight up pink. You know, it's not hot pink, it's not baby pink, it's not light pink. It's pink. Where is it? Right there. Melted Peony. I wore this one the other day. I don't know why I bought this color. It's not my best color, but I wear it. Melted Fuchsia. This is, this is bright. Okay. I would pair this with a deeper Fuchsia liner, I think. You don't have to wear a liner with these, though. Okay. I just like to. Fuchsia. And the last one I have is a perfect spring, summer, bam, in your face, bright red. It's called Melted Strawberry. And if you have red hair, <laughs> fair skin, like I think of certain actresses that, I'm sweating, oh, that have, that I've seen walking down the red carpet in the shade, you know who I'm talking about, Melted Strawberry. So... That is the lowdown on all of the liquid lipsticks that I have. If you have any questions that I did not cover, um, ask me down below and I will try to answer them for you. I just kind of wanted to go over like what I like about different things, what I don't like, and things I think you should try, ones you should probably run away from, and so on and so forth. So I hope I hit on all that. Um, and I hope you guys found this helpful. And if there's any shades of any liquid lipsticks that you have that I don't, Please let me know if there's any you think I would enjoy down below because I always love you guys' recommendations. They're always like on point. If I don't already have them, then I write them down and I go out and buy them. So my camera battery just died. I have no idea what I was saying, but basically I was trying to say I will talk to you guys again soon. And if you enjoyed yourselves, please give yourself, please give yourself, please give yourself a round of applause. Um, please thumbs this video up. If you have any requests for any lowdowns on anything else that you want me to do like a type of product specific um let me know down below and i will definitely write that down for a future video and i hope you guys have a great rest of your day and i'll chat with you soon bye